Israel was an Egypt land. This is the story of Moses and the Pharaoh. But it doesn't start with Moses. It starts with Joseph, whose story we told in chapel a few weeks ago. Joseph, who came down from the land of Israel into Egypt and became friends with the Pharaoh. And together, when times were tough, they fed everyone, everyone, even Joseph's sisters and brothers and other people from Israel who came to Egypt, hungry, hungry, hungry. And they fed them all. That was a kind Pharaoh. But the time went by and the time went by and the time went by and the Pharaoh died. And the next Pharaoh was not so kind at all. And the next Pharaoh looked around at the people of Israel and said, they are not Egyptians. Why are they here? But wait, since they are here, that gives me an idea. I can make them work night and day, day and night. Work for me, work for me. They'll be my slaves, work day and night and build me palaces, build me palaces and all the beautiful things I want. And so the people of Israel were made slaves and they worked day and night, night and day. It was not an easy life. Only enough food to eat so they could work. Only enough housing to live in so they could sleep. And in the palace, there was a young man whose name was Moses. Now Moses was not Egyptian. He was one of the people of Israel. But he had been found and he grew up in the palace and he knew who he was. And when he looked out the window and saw his people, the people of Israel, working day and night as slaves, he knew it was not fair. And he went to Pharaoh and he said, Pharaoh, it is not fair what you do to my people. Let me take them away from here, please, please. And the Pharaoh said, why should I do that? They make me rich. They build me palaces. I like it like this. No. I'm not going to let you take them away. You go away if that's how you feel, Moses. Moses went away to think. He walked and he thought. He walked out into the desert. He walked and walked and walked. And one day he, he saw a bush on fire, a burning bush. Wow. Now it is true that sometimes you'll see a bush catch on fire in the desert from the hot sun when it's all dried out. But this was different, for the flames danced around the branches. They did not burn up the bush, they just danced. And Moses knew this was something amazing, something sacred and sacred ground he did not want to step on in his sandals. So he took the sandals off and walked on his bare feet closer. And from the bush, the voice of God came through the fire and it sang, Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land, tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. Moses could not believe what he was hearing. He just said, what? And the voice of God sang it again. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land. Tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. And Moses said, I did. I told Pharaoh, but he said, no. But this time, tell them that I sent you, that I sent you, and that I told you you have a promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey where you should go. And if Pharaoh doesn't listen, tell Pharaoh I have many ways to speak until he does the right thing. So go down, 
Moses way down in Egypt land tell old Pharaoh to let my people go so Moses went down and when he saw Pharaoh Pharaoh said where have you been and Moses said well I was out walking and thinking and I saw a burning bush and I heard the voice of God and what did this voice say the voice of God said let my people go and I was to tell you that we have a land waiting for us may I go Pharaoh may I go no not with your people you may not go but Pharaoh God said he has many ways to speak until you do the right thing he will keep speaking please Pharaoh make it easy on everyone and Pharaoh said no Moses tell your people to get to work it's too much trouble I'm getting tired it's time for bed and Moses left the next morning Ribbit. Ribbit. Pharaoh woke up there were frogs hopping around on his bed on his head one morning when Pharaoh woke in his bed there were frogs on his bed and frogs on his head frogs on his toes frogs on his nose frogs here frogs there frogs were hopping everywhere ribbit 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 what frogs what are these frogs doing here and he got up well, watch out for the frogs and he walked and he looked outside frogs oh, but wait a minute over where the people of Israel live there are no frogs at all. It's like they just passed over them. But here on me, there are frogs all over. Uh, guards, go get Moses. Go get Moses. And Moses, yes? Okay, Moses, look. These frogs are driving me crazy. Look, just get rid of the frogs and I'll let your people go. What? I said, get rid of the frogs and I'll let your people go. The frogs were gone just like that, hopped away. Thank you, Pharaoh. I will tell my people, we'll be gone before long. Don't worry, don't worry. And Moses walked towards the door. But when he got to the door, Pharaoh called to his guards and said, Guards, stop Moses, turn him around. Yes, Pharaoh, said Moses. Well, now that the frogs are gone, I've changed my mind. Your people must work harder for this trouble. Go tell them that. But Pharaoh... God will keep speaking. Let him speak. Moses left. The next day when Pharaoh looked at the sky, grew darker and darker, and hail did fly. Hail his toes, hail hit his nose, hail here, hail there. Hail was falling everywhere. Oh no, what is going on around here? Hail, what is that? Big balls of ice falling out of the sky. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, look outside. Hail falling down. Wait a minute. Over there where the people of Israel live, there's there's no hail falling. But here it's falling like crazy. Wait, guards, go get Moses. Moses came. He, yes, Pharaoh. Look, get rid of get get rid of this hail. Just stop the hail and your people can go. You can let your people go. I'll let your people go. You can take them away. Just get rid of the hail. The hail was gone. Moses said, I'll go tell them right away. Thank you, Pharaoh. Thank you. But when he got to the door, he said, Guards, stop Moses. Yes, Pharaoh, said Moses. Well, now that the hail is gone, I've changed my mind. Tell your people they must work harder for all this trouble you have brought on them. But Pharaoh, please go. There'll be more, said Moses. Go! The bugs came next, they were such a pest. They crawled inside the Pharaoh's vest. Bugs up his nose, bugs between his toes. Bugs here, bugs there. Bugs were buzzing everywhere. Oh, I do not like all these bugs. This is not good at all. Oh. And he walked around, he looked. And where the people of Israel live, guess what? You're right. No bugs at all. But back here in the palace, Moses, Moses, get Moses, go get Moses. 
Yes, Pharaoh? Get rid of these bugs and I'll let your people go. What? Get rid of the bugs and I'll let your people go. The bugs were gone just like that. Thank you, Pharaoh. I'll let, your, let my people know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He got to the door and guess what? You're right. Moses, I've changed my mind. But God will keep speaking. Let him speak. And Moses went out. And it was true. And the Bible tells us of many more terrible things that happen called the plagues, one after another. And over and over again, the Pharaoh changed his mind. But then one day, he looked out at the blue, blue sky, and it turned dark, just like night, just like that. And the Pharaoh was afraid. And the Pharaoh found Moses and said, Moses, you may go, you may go, you may go. Finally, the Pharaoh was not going to change his mind. And before long, Moses and the people of Israel started their long journey towards the promised land. And that is part of the story of Moses and Pharaoh and Passover. When Israel was in Egypt land, I let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand, let my people go, go down to Moses, way down in Egypt land, tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. Let us all from bondage flee, let my people go. Soon may all the earth be free, let my people go. Go down, Moses, way down in Egypt land, tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. Have a great day.